Go away, you ugly bee. Bee? No, oh, you ugly beast. Uh oh. Flappy ears, it's Klonoa. Ah. Meow, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Another save point. Gosh. This game wants you to succeed. When no one has before. I guess I have to talk to him because he's got a thing over his head. Morning, Billy. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Being lazy. Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? It's hard to reach the red text. Just face the bird statue over there and... Yeah, you probably can't read it on the video, I don't know. And say a short prayer to save your progress. What? As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every one time you run by. A prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Saves nine what? I know what it is. It replenishes your stamina when you pick it up. Like this. Oh no, I might even run out before I reach the next one. No, I didn't. Oh, what a lovely day it is in here. It's not outside. Just in here. Because the goddess is making it so... Hi! Are you this Zelda person I've heard so much about? <clears throat> yes, I am. And I'm this belly person you've heard so much about. Oh, youth. Oh, youth. Guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky. Bring light to the land. Stop having a voice. It's a Zelda game. This is unheard of. You're creepy in this game. Good morning, Belly. Don't say good morning to your own Belly. Sounds weird. I'm glad you seem to see my loft ring got you out of bed. Yeah, bastard, wake me up. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. Yeah, I would. You're very forgettable. Look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. You're supposed to be a princess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends, like in Wind Waker. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. No! <coughs> of course it's a harp. What an uneducated beep. And look at these clothes. I made I made this wrap myself and we get you to use it in today's ceremony. I can't read. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this. Belly. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna be a dick. Really? You know, maybe it does look a little weird. Oh, it still turns out to be a nice conversation anyway. What am I wearing? A girdle? Because I'm fat. Oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. He's not there. There he is. Ah, uh, Billy, you're here too. Outstanding. You're scary. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Yeah, tell me about it. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. I will. Yeah, it's about that. Whoa, big frown and closed eyes. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Well, recently, Belly hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. Oh, thanks! And even when he's out running his loft ring, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Thanks for the vote of confidence, you little cow. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Head scratch. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Probably will actually, since it's the first challenge in the game. And as, prom and as pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little, you should know better than to fret about him. 
You see, Belly and his loft wing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. The sky. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. What? We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. You don't need to tell me all this. Ah, but the first meeting between Belly and his loft wing is extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing, as in a red one. It was a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. What line? Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Yeah, they had sex. No, do you recall seeing Belly and that loft wing of his when they first met? What a sight. No, I don't, because the game started after that. The little boy had just hopped up onto that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. Ah. Ah. No. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Here's your share of the profits, my dear. I can make you another one tomorrow. Alright, uh, Keith, this... Oh, give away the reference. I always do that. It annoys me. Ah, oh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Belly and his bird. Any who? No. Any one who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Hoo hoo! He's an owl. He looks like one. <laughs> Why? He made his belly wobble. This contest is nothing to laugh at. No, this contest is nothing to laugh at, father. This ceremony is part of the final test for these training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Belly doesn't fly fast enough during the race, he'll die. What if Belly messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Well, who cares? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Belly. It put Belly on a different line in case you made your name too long, even though you only have like seven characters. <laughs> what? Listen, Belly, you better fly your heart out today. Ow, that sounds painful. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice before the race. And I don't want to squeeze anything except my own boobs. Come on, you'll thank me later. Uh oh. Oh, here comes a dodgy. What are you doing? What's the point of this little scene? That was silly. Here we are, go on now, jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it, you're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. I didn't even say anything. Fine, just kill me! Off you go. Okay, belly, go ahead, just press down to call your loft wing. What if I don't? Oi, I didn't press anything! What's the point of telling me how to do something if you're not going to let me do it? Hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. She reacted before she reacted. That's annoying. Don't whistle. It's too loud. I wonder how the microphone picks it up. Oh wait. I'm not even logged on. Hang in there, Belly. I got ya. Oh man, this is a disaster. My controller just vibrated for a nanosecond. Are you two alright? Not really, no. Oh, she's rubbing the bird's neck. I'm sorry, friend, I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? Oh, okay. I thought she was talking about me. But this is very odd, Belly. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. Well, apparently it isn't now. I just broke a new record or something. I made history. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Belly? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Belly, when you... Stop saying Belly. When you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know who's talking half the time. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. I'll do that. I didn't nod though, so I guess I won't. 
That's the only communication Link can do. A nod every now and then. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Howell is presiding over the ceremony. Billy, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so you can find your bird. Who's Director Howell? Or someone? But Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Billy asked Instructor Horwell, oh, he'll probably just come and talk to you about it. Ah, oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. My dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Belly, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Why don't you go see him? What, are you too fat or something to run up walls? Oh, look, it's dead. Where's Zelda gone? There's a bird butt! Roll up it! No, don't. Don't. Don't you dare. Can I jump off the edge instead? Oh, I can. I died already. Oh. I was trying to press down to call my lofty wing. Watch yourself, though. You can't always depend on knights like me to sweep in and save you. Well, I can, but it doesn't make any difference whether you will or not. Oh, wait, not that again. I said that in the recording test. Right, can I roll into the tree and knock something down? Well, I can knock some leaves down. Whatever, it's not worth it. What's over here? Oh. Oh, some death! Where have I gone? The wrong place, I think. Oh, wait, I should probably... I don't know where I am. I probably shouldn't be here either way. Come on. God. Wait, there's a chest down there. Is it a chest? Yeah, it is. No, what is it? Yeah, it is. Money? Oh! Don't spend it all in one place. I probably have to, because most things cost more than 20 rupees, don't they? I don't know. Well, this is probably the way back up, actually. So that's where I'm going to go. Oh, no. Such a requirement for stamina in this game. Right. Wish I could do this in real life. It would mean I'm quite a sprightly little fella. No, I'll never be a, a little fella. Thank you. Now, Are you Instructor Horwell? What's wrong, Billy? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly within the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find the bird. <sighs> You're not worth talking to anymore. So if Master has summoned me. Oh, is he? Alright, then I'll just speak to him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. I will. Now I'm going to talk to people. Who's that? Don't men open doors for a lady anymore. How long am I supposed to stand there waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh! Why, you got a big forehead. Oh, it's you, Belly. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Pippet is the one to ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you look from there? Okay, I will. No, open the door like a normal human being. But you're not, you're an elf. But oh well. Take what you can get. Wait, 